Welcome everyone. In order to customize Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, let's start off with the home screen. So on the home screen, if we long press on the empty space, we can change the wallpaper and style. And I've selected, if you're wondering, the macOS Snow Leopard wallpaper. Looks really clean in my opinion. You can also change the theme. So if we tap on the themes here, this will change the app icon look, okay? So if I tap on a the theme, you can see it's gonna change the app icons and some of the system, you can see, will have a different theme than usual. So some of them will cost money, but uh, some of them are free. So let's have a look at this one here. And if we download the theme, once it's downloaded, you should have the option to set the theme with the apply button here. I'm not gonna apply the theme. I actually like the stock, but if you want to, you can. Then we have the widgets. So if you wanna add a widget to your home screen, there are a bunch of uh, stock widgets and there are third party widgets as well. So if you're wondering what I have on my home screen currently, I have the battery widget, which is a stock widget in the Android. And then I have the weather widget, which is the default weather app. And the advantage of using the stock widgets is they don't have ads or they don't have like branding. So it looks really clean in my opinion. If you wanted, you could also, let's just long press again. Let's try and long press, there we go. Go back to the widgets. You can also create a widget stack. So let's just say Apple Music here. If I add that to my home screen, resize the widget. Oh, it's not gonna allow me, but let's just use this one. And if I just go over to another widget, you can create a stack. If you slide across, you have multiple widgets here in one area. Now, if you have your Android currently, your home icon layout is gonna be different. So let's long press on the home screen again. And uh, let's tap into the settings. So I changed the home screen grid to four by six. I mainly did that because I'm a you know former iPhone user, former guys, former. Some people get upset when they see this in the background, but I'm a former iPhone user and that is the iPhone grid where you have a four by six. So that is the reason why I selected that. But of course you do have a bunch of other you know, sizes you can set. I'm not gonna set them because then it's gonna screw up my uh, home screen. On top of this, you have the home screen layout. So if you have the home and app screen, that means you have the regular home screen here. And then when you slide up, you can view all apps. I recommend you leave that as it is, but let's go back into this uh, settings. But if we go back to the settings, you can just have the home screen so all apps will be on the home screen. And if you slide up, you'll be brought to a search bar. Okay. And then you have a bunch of other home screen customization here. I'll be honest, I have not touched any of this, but uh, it does give you exactly what it does. And then on off switch. If we go into the settings app, we were in the home screen area earlier, so you don't need to enter here again. But what we do have is the lock screen settings. So you can change the widgets on the lock screen and just edit the lock screen in general. So you can see, we can change what these two buttons do on a lock screen. So let's say you don't wanna use the flash, just tap on this, tap on that, and then you can change what that button on the lock screen will do. Same with the clock. You can add the contact information and this, this can just be text. You can put your name here. You know, Alf Saunders, that's my name if you're on drink. Uh, they'll add my name. Well, I mean, unless you want to, I don't know. We can then customize how the notifications look. So you can see a larger notification, smaller. You can hide them entirely from the lock screen. And of course you can change the transparency, only in the details. And you can reverse the text color as well. You can change the lock screen wallpaper here. And then if we go to the uh, widgets, you can select which widgets you will have. So if I go to my lock screen, 
and I tap on the clock, you'll see all these widgets right here. So this is just for quick access. I personally never use that, but if you want to, you can. If we go back here, you also see the show on, always on display. So if you tap on the clock with the always on display, you'll get the widget show up, but you do need to turn on the always on display by tapping on the always on display and then select show always. And then when you go to the lock screen, you can see the display is always on. And if we tap, the OS seems to be a little bit buggy, but typically when you tap, this will bring up the widgets. Fortunately, it doesn't. Uh, if you watch my last video with the notifications, you'll see there's a couple of bugs in this operating system. There are other settings you can play with with the always on display. But I personally just turn it off. I'm not a fan of it. So let's go back and you're basically done. So in my personal case, if you wonder what I do, the lock screen, I don't really customize because I have a Google Pixel watch, which essentially acts as all my information on the lock screen, right? It gives the date, time, heart rate, sunrise, weather, um, you know, most information that would be on the lock screen I have here. But it's on the home screen, I have the app icon layout, just like on the iPhone. I actually think this looks better than the iPhone, to be honest. Um, I do like it a lot. And with these folders here, you just drag and drop, boom, that creates a folder. But uh, I have folders for my social media, YouTube editing software, some utilities I use a lot, but like not enough to put these regular app icons, banking apps shopping apps, and then I have the Air message, which is iMessage on Android, regular messages, which I use for like SMS. And then I have the battery widget. I don't have the, uh, I don't have that weather widget. So I'm going to delete that real quick. So the battery widget will show the battery percent on my, of my S Pen. Uh, it will also show my Google Pixel watch percent and then the headphones I've connected don't know why I'm holding this, get that iPhone out of here. And then these other pages I just haven't really played with. They just like exist. And then the app drawer. I don't really like access this much if at all. Only when I'm here, I just use the search. So that doesn't get any love. And that is the customization. So do let me know what you change in the comment section. Android is so much customization. I think by stock, it doesn't look great. But when you customize it, this looks even better than an iPhone. A lot of things on Android, you have to do a lot of customization to get better than the iPhone, but it is better. So you did a good job if you got the Samsung. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye bye.